Hey there, my name is Ryan June Novelin. I'm an artist and designer from Boston, Massachusetts, and you are one of the first people that I have brought into my personal studio. So I'm gonna flip the camera around in a second and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my area and show you some of the objects that inspire me and teach you a little bit more about my work and what I do. So let's go. I won't actually selfie the entire video this way because it's a little tricky to walk backwards, but behind me, you can see one of my pieces here that was recently shown in New York City. This is the Good Fairy Gown. One of the biggest challenges to creating a piece like this is that you do have to do a lot of experimentation with your material. This is the first time I've ever worked with this specific silk habitat. You can see in the bodice, there's actually three different materials. You have a silk dupion that makes up the bodice. And then you have the silk habitat for the sleeves and the skirt, and then there's a velour. Both the velour and the bodice had to be hand painted with acrylic to match the color of the print material itself. So from a distance, the whole thing appears as though it's from the same drawing. You're actually seeing different materials. It was a little bit of trickery to pull that off. This gown has multiple layers of fabric to achieve this color effect, and I will actually take you underneath the gown and you can see the color changing and get a better sense for how the color effect looks. You can really only see it in the dark, but it is truly an incredible dramatic effect. It is very magical and very fairy tale like It did take a lot of playing with lights to attempt to get this final look. I was very proud of it to see it in all of its full glory. So the phone was actually resting precariously here on this uh, chandelier lamp. I have a large collection of lamps with crystals. I have some sapphire blue slippers by Steve Madden. Over here, I have a reed diffuser that is gardenia scent from the Plaza Hotel in New York. I love light, it's very inspirational to me. You can see that a lot of the room doesn't actually have a lot of color in it. That's because my work tends to be very colorful and I prefer to keep the room a little bit more neutral. Over here we have my computer set up, we have my MacBook, we have the Thunderbolt display, and my Intuos Pro paper. Having the physical paper in front of you and being able to draw on it with actual ink makes it feel just completely natural to me. I feel like my best work comes out when I'm working with materials that I'm really comfortable with. I can just start sketching and I'm actually, you know, I can see it live in front of me, which is really cool. I tend to have coffee or tea and uh, water next to me at all times. Uh, Tiffany blue is my favorite color. Over here we have some um, fairy tales. This is a paper mock-up of the last gown I made. This is actually just the skirt, but you can see the design, how it follows the perimeter of the skirt. This is some extra material, uh, some leftover silk, looking to make that into some scarves. We have my interlock machine. Over here we have a case that has many of the objects that inspire me. I've Hello there. This is one of Sandy Powell's Cinderella slippers, which was a collaboration with Swarovski. It is one of my absolute favorite pieces in the room. And over here we have several other Swarovski figures of Disney princesses. I am a huge fan of Swarovski crystals and incorporating them into my designs and seeing how they add life. Here we have our little holiday tree, some more, another sewing machine. This is a crown that I bought at the Hotel del Coronado in California. And then over here we have some more crystals, a mirror that I used. It also brings more light into the room. I've been very fortunate to have had the opportunity to bring my work to a lot of places, which has been so amazing and gratifying as an artist. Uh, this gown called Beyond Blue, I posted on Instagram after having brought it to New York Comic Con in 2017. And it was invited kind of on, on a world tour. Me and a good friend of mine, Liz, originally showed it in New York, and then we brought it to Singapore to show it at ADEX. And then from Singapore, we brought it to ADEX again in Beijing. And then not long ago, we brought it to San Diego for the Black Carpet event for the fundraiser of the Comic-Con Museum. And I'm very much hoping to go back again this year. 
So I think that's everything. If you would like to learn more about my work, you can find it online at ryanjunoveling.com, and I highly recommend joining the mailing list. That is the fastest way to see the new pieces that I have in the pipeline, and there are some very cool projects in store for 2020. You can also follow along on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can definitely find out a little more about me there. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on this little tour.